Hey, this is Andreas from Pokerables.com and this video is going to be a basic introduction to using Event Ghost, Tasker and Order Mode. So, obviously you're going to want to start off by installing Event Ghost, which is free. Uh, you also need to install the Aura Mode for Windows app uh, on your computer. And when you've done that uh, and go into that app, um, there should be a tab there called Event Ghost. Uh, so you basically want to make sure that it's pointed at your Event Ghost installation folder. Um, and then you essentially just hit Update Now, uh, brief command window will flash and then it just installed the event ghost plugin. Uh, when you've done that you can go ahead and open event ghost. Um, if you open it for the first time it's going to be a little bit different than what you see here. Basically I've just deleted a stuff of a, a bunch of examples that it comes with but it's essentially the same thing. So you have this uh, auto start tree um, that basically everything that's in here will run when event call starts. So the first thing we want to do is go into configuration, add plugin, and go all the way down to auto remote, click OK. So that brings up this plugin item settings window uh, and this is where you actually start to uh, configure what you want everything to do. So uh, you can give a name to a pair on your device and this is going to be uh, uh, be what uh, basically this installation of Event Ghost is going to show up as on your Android device. Device name, that's the first device you want to actually register uh, so that it can communicate with Event Ghost. So that's going to be my Galaxy S2. Then you want to go ahead and input the personal URL for uh, that device. So that's something you actually find in order remote on your Android device. Uh, basically make sure that you basically just make the uh, device key appear. Then you need to click add, not just OK. You actually need to add it so that it's listed under existing devices. Then you click OK. And that basically means you've enabled the order mode plugin. Next thing we're going to do is actually make sure that uh, every time event goes starts, it's going to let your device know that it's available. So take a look at my device right here. Uh, you can see that even though I added the plugin and everything, uh, it doesn't uh, show anything in the log because just adding the plugin won't uh, won't make your device aware of its existence. So you're going to want to make sure that you're still in the auto start tree, add action, uh, then you should find a folder called auto remote, and then you select register event ghost. Click OK, select your device, and hit OK. So that basically means that uh, when you start event ghost, it will ping your device and let it know that it's online. So I'm going to go ahead and save uh, and just restart event code so you can see this in action. So still nothing in the log, starting event code and there you saw that it actually let my device know that it's uh, online. So <coughs> that's it for actually setting it up. So that means you can actually start creating profiles or macros as they're called in event code. Macros are essentially like profiles, you have uh, uh, context and task, except that they're called uh, events and actions. The easiest way to add events is to actually just drag them over from this log, which basically uh, registers a lot of stuff that happens to event ghost and just uh, your computer in general. So if I switch to this window, you can actually see that uh, it registered that as an, sort of an event and if I minimize it again, it did that. So if I wanted to um, to use those as triggers, I could just do that. But let's add a very basic, uh, basic profile to show you how it works, basic macro. So to 
do that you're going to want to go into configuration, add macro, just hit cancel um, and then on your device um, basically you just want to go ahead and add a new profile with some random name and this is just for a test um, plugin or remote message and then you should see uh, event ghost listed uh, under your uh, under your device list so I have the one I just created right there uh, message specify that it's hello and let's just send the message to test it so you can see that when I sent the message you can see this uh, event pop up in the log and that's essentially what event goes saw when I sent it a message saying hello so I'm going to basically just take that and drag it into my unnamed macro that essentially adds that as the event ghost equivalent of a context to this macro which is a profile so that means that whenever it receives a message saying hello it th that this macro will trigger so then I need to actually configure something I wanted to do so let's go into configuration and add an action which is well just like task or actions uh, and in the order of my folder you actually have two other uh, options send message and send notification uh, send message basically sends a standard uh, order mode message and send notification sends a standard notification so let's do notification um, select a device otherwise event goes will crash horribly uh, and just uh, So if I go back into my device and actually just run this task, you can see that I just got a notification. So what happened here is that my device sent a message to Eventco saying hello, it triggered the macro and it sent this notification back. So that's just a basic example showing you how this uh, system works. Uh, not much point in actually having just that, but uh, it basically just shows you what it does. So let's see what uh, you can actually do with this in terms of something useful. Um, one example is Winamp. So let's delete this notification. Um, and go into configuration, add action, and look in the Vinamp folder. So there is an action here called toggle play, which is toggles between play and pause of Vinamp. So basically I still have it tied to hello, you should basically have it tied to Vinamp play pause or something like that. but basically get the ID. So um, if I just run this on my phone you can see that it toggles Vinamp on my computer. So that's just one example of what you can do with this. Um, another could be something like well the reason why I have this web page open is this is actually uh, the developers uh, order mode guide um, and this part here is very important because this essentially tells you how to use variables from uh, order mode in uh, event ghost so this one is particularly important because this is essentially the uh, the uh, variable that will display a command in uh, event ghost so I'm going to show you how that works um, going to 
edit my oil remote message um, and I'm going to edit the message to be um, a command which means I separate the parameter from the commands using uh, these symbols. This is very basic or remote stuff that uh, isn't specific to event ghost. So um, let's do something like that. So basically, what this is is a, a command uh, or a message with the parameter hello and the command how are you today. So I could use a variable in there and just have it sort of like a pop-up or something like that. Actually, why don't we just do that? Um, just to show you how it works. I guess I could change this, uh, this as well, just... Um, uh, give it a bit more specific command um, rent ghost message something like that so I just sent that message so that I can actually go into rent ghost uh, delete this one this one too for that matter drag that one in there and then back on my phone I turn this into a command like that so basically this has the parameter eg message just to actually allow the macro to run based on it and then just a variable as the command. Uh, and then I'm going to add a, a variable, let's see, query. Drag it on top, like that. select action and then I think it's under event goes to show on screen display in screen center uh, so basically what I'm doing now is basically just using uh, this variable this is the command variable which means that whatever is in the eg message variable on my phone will show up uh, here on in event ghost so back on my phone I'm going to run this task enter message hello computer be something wrong with the built-in uh, built-in layouts and just just pick one of my own yeah whatever so you can see that the message pops up on screen uh, it said help computer instead of hello because mistyped it but uh, you get the ID so if I uh, if I basically just use this task every time I run it I get this input box and uh, I could do something like uh, what's for dinner honey click OK and then that uh, message pops up on the computer or whoever is on the other end that's just one example and uh, like I said, uh, just to go through it again because I know this can be confusing, um, I basically just sent a very standard or remote uh, command which consists of this 
first word which is the parameter uh, and then this separator which basically just separates parameters from commands and then the command is uh, this variable and then I used the variable query method to actually put a message into that variable and then I just copied uh, the variable listed on the help page for order mode uh, the one that actually signifies uh, you can see here to access your command phrase to the right of the symbols use this so I basically just copied all of this this is like a tasker variable just for event ghost and I just slapped it into where I wanted it in event ghost in this case uh, an on-screen display so by doing that um, whatever I put into the variable query box will pop up uh, on the on-screen display message. So let's see if there's anything else we can do. Um, of, of course you can make it do something the other way around uh, like um, okay let's make it every time I switch to this window I want a message to pop up uh, in order mode. So let's add a new macro uh, and let's see if we can find so task activated VNC view just going to drag that into the macro uh, then add an action uh, order mode send message device galaxy s2 message VNC active or something like that um, and then go into tasker profiles state plugin order remote select event behavior message filter VNC VNC active just make it flash this message. Go all the way out of tasker and then actually select this window and then you can see the flash messages appear so every time I actually physically select this window instead of just having it sort of show through uh, it will show that message. So obviously that's not very useful uh, either but uh, an example would be for a uh, home theater computer or something like that um, uh, to let's say every time you open Xbox Media Center or something like that uh, open a control app uh, on your device and just something like that so that's basically a very quick introduction to Event Coast. You can see how I created macros both for receiving and actually sending messages, use the command and so on and so forth. So as always, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this was useful.